Many times when I'm doing these videos, I find it useful to do a quick introduction into what's coming, okay, and what to expect. And this is one of those videos where I'm just going to cover just a minute or two of the Blender workflow, the Blender overview of the entire process that you're going to go through in the next several videos. Uh, Blender is a large part of the process, and it's very customized um, using the OPCD tools. So what's this going to look like? So an overview of this process is you've already completed the Inkscape piece. Now, maybe you're not complete. Maybe you've only done a couple holes, or maybe you're going back for the second time and doing the rest of your holes. But the bottom line is you're going to export your Inkscape shapes into an SVG file. And that file is then going to be uploaded. Okay, you're going to submit and upload those shapes to what I call the Clender. Okay, which to me sounds for, stands for a Cloud Blender process. That Cloud Blender process is that file is going to be submitted to some servers, and those servers are going to process it and do a bunch of different things. They're going to cut your meshes up. Um, they're going to um, apply some vertex painting to them. But the bottom line is you're going to get returned a um, a Blender file. Now, when you get that Blender file back, you're going to do a couple things to verify that what the Clender did was uh, successful and it did it correctly because it does mess up once in a while. OK, um, it has some sometimes there's errors, things don't cut correctly, but the videos are going to show you how to look at that file, make sure everything looks OK. If everything looks OK, then you're going to take that Blender file and you're going to actually open it up inside of Blender using the OPCD tools that were written specifically for this process. And you're going to do a few things in there. One is you're going to conform your meshes to the terrain. So that's the process of taking a two dimensional shape and turning it into a three dimensional mesh um, that is going to be more conformed to the terrain that you got in the LiDAR process. Um, so now it's going to start looking like a golf course because it's going to have the undulations of a golf course. You can potentially do some vert painting in there um, to uh, customize some of those objects, some of those meshes. You might add some objects like bridges um, are a big one that people like to add at this stage. It's not mandatory, but it's an option, and we'll show you how to do that as well. And there's also tools in there for doing things like tweaking your bunkers, making the lips somewhat different. Um, lowering the lips and the same thing with the lakes, your, the banks of your lakes, um, your, you know, where the water meets the banks, you can change those as well. And that'll be covered in this process as well. And the last thing is when you're all, everything's all said and done, there's an export tool within those OPCD, uh, Blender OPCD, OPCD tools, where you can export those meshes as a specific file called an FBX. That FBX file can then be consumed inside of Unity, uh, which is the next major section after this Blender section. Um, they can be consumed and brought into Unity um, to be used in the game. Okay, so that's an overview of the Blender workflow, and uh, let's get started.